Good morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful, beautiful people. Hope y'all day is going great so far, and I hope you had a wonderful night. Prayers up to John Frank and the family. Y'all, stay off this YouTube shit, deal with the COVID shit, alright? This YouTube shit will be here. Get some rest, take care of baby boy. Get back on your grind. Um, I was going to go live last night. But again, something came up. I watched something like we all watched. And I must admit that that live was very, very, very interesting. There was no entertainment in that. Because there's nothing more devastating or sad to watch. Is when people finally see the warning signs. We all know what we heard when Kells went live the first time. I don't fuck with that nigga. I hate that nigga with all my heart. He too fucking grown for you other grown people to be calling his fucking mama. His mama ain't got shit to do. What her ignorant ass son does and says and the lies he keeps continuing to put out on people. But this is not about him at this particular moment. When that woman went live, she specifically said and put out the impression that the dude called her people. She reiterated that, reiterated that over and over again. I don't know much about her. All I know is what I've heard, just like y'all. And from what I'm understanding, that audio that he did say he had, that he did put out the impression that he spoke to her people as well, was old as fuck. I would think that a person who had a beef like that will remember someone coming out and totally destroying them. From my understanding, Bam was right on this one. Bam is not perfect. Bam knows this. Bam knows it. Bam knows it. People fuck with Bam because they care for Bam. People fuck with Bam because they want to fuck with Bam. Just like people fuck with anybody else. I fought some of you niggas who fuck with some of the motherfuckers you fuck with. Because then, here you go. Giving others warning signs. But she lied. On that fuck nigga. But at the same time, that fuck nigga lied on her. I have no sympathy for either one. It is what it is, right? All is fair in YouTube war, I guess. What I don't get is that those of us who continue to come on here to say our truth, it gets fucking ignored. The truth is ignored on these streets. But the lie prospers and the liar gets away. When you people finally catch liars red-handed, what you do about it? What are you going to do about it? Will we see a reunion? Will we see a come to kumbaya moment like we always do? But again, like I say, it's fire beware and those warning and caution signs are there. But Kel's lie put out the impression that the dude called her family. When the phone call was made according to her because someone called her son's job, which <laughs> I believe is a fucking lie. People, you're not going to fight fire with lies and liars. You're only going to fight a liar with the truth. And if you don't have the truth, shut the fuck up. Step down because it makes you look real foolish. You got little dudes crying about people calling their mama. Stop calling dude mama. Because when you call his mama, it gives him a reason to come out here and play victim. 
But now it's wrong for someone else who claims people call their family, call their job, their people's job. Now it's wrong for them to play victim. I understand why Bam was pissed off. Had nothing to do with calling that nigga mama. I don't think neither one of them care. Fuck him. But she jumped out. In the motherfucking ocean. Without a motherfucking boat. To protect. A motherfucker. That lied. Big time. Are we about truth or are we about lies? Are we about doxing or non doxing What the fuck are we about? She wasn't wrong in doing what she did as a friend to jump out there. She knew what the come out would be when everybody heard her say she called that man's mama. But when the question was first asked to her before Bam even got on that panel, was that man mama called? She said no. It only takes me to catch one lie from anyone. And then I'm adhering to the warning. And I'm taking caution. I have a question for everybody out there. And I did ask Mr. Brown to let me know if he will hit my panel. The thing about it is this. Don't critique me. Don't critique anyone. Don't chastise anyone. If you're not willing to chastise the ones that you are really speaking to. Have a conversation with me. Get to know me. Get to pick my brain so I can pick yours. But without understanding, there's not going to be anything but confusion. And more warning signs. And a lot more caution signs. And a lot of friends being hurt. Because a common denominator... And breaking up friendships, the common denominator of relying on people in my experience is the one that y'all are arguing about right now. When are y'all going to start holding little dude accountable, reckless? You two friendships is just that they come and fucking go half of them are fucking fake and phony. But real life... You already know. Y'all have a great day. I may come back tonight. If not, carry on, Clint Stones. Peace. <laughs>